Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Bahamian Bajita and today we'll be going over my um, weekly spending for the last week in October. So normally I do Tuesday to Monday, but there's just one more day left and I want to close out October. So I'm just going to do the full eight days. So let's get into this. What days do I need? The 24th to the 31st. So I need this. And I need a little bit of November. Right here. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this. Um, I'm going to be doing this section a little bit different. I am going, once it gets to the 26th, which is when I went away, all the way up until the 31st, I'm going to separate uh, my spending into what was in my budget and what was out of my budget. So I'm just going to group them all together into two different categories instead of breaking down exactly, instead of breaking down everything that I spent. So let me get a pen. There is my pen. Let me get my stickers. I think I have a few more of these ones left. Okay, we'll use these so I can't use them anymore. So let's start with the 24th. And hmm, how many days is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's exactly six. But then this wouldn't add up. Okay, hold on. Let me find stickers first. Okay, so I'm going to use these stickers over here. Um, and we're going to start on the 24th. Because this was almost enough spend day. But this has to do with my trip. Oh gosh, I forgot I need to take these out because I cannot with the rings. Okay, where was I? All right, so the 24th, and I'm just gonna put this was out of budget because I forgot to budget for this, uh, but my boyfriend lives on a different island, so we had to pay for his ticket to come here and then to go back home. And I totally forgot to budget that in our total. So now it's gonna, I'm gonna recalculate and put it in but that was 135.75 I paid and then he paid the next half. So that was for the ticket. Don't mind me writing all over these stickers. I'm not gonna use these. I've, I already know I'm not gonna use these. Okay, now the 25th was my last day home and I spent $49 on groceries. So groceries, and that was $49.22. And then I got gas. I was trying so hard to wait till I got back, but I couldn't. And I spent $40 on gas. So then the 26 came, and so this is when I'm going to be looping everything together. So on top is going to be what's in budget, and then on the bottom is going to be what I spent that was out of my budget. And the issue was, um, I didn't realize that, that the event that I was going to would be cashless. So remember I told you guys that I, I took about $1,000 in cash to spend, but everything at the event was cashless. So I ended up having to swipe my card, and then on the second day, um, because I thought we would be staying to the event all day, I only took, I didn't take all the cash with me. I just didn't want to have it all with me, so I left it in the safe at the hotel. And we ended up going shopping, so all of that was swiping on my card for my stuff. So, back to Thursday. In budget, we spent $70, $110, 857 and then 60 So, in budget was i'm just gonna put in budget and that was one thousand and ninety seven dollars and ninety three cents that was so high because we obviously had to pay for the hotel that day and then we had 24 75 60 and 60 
rate that was out of budget. And so that was $144.75. So I'm gonna do the same thing for all of these days. Um, just so I know for reference. Uh, also, I don't have enough stickers. So in on Friday it was 86.75 plus 20 plus 30, 14. And that was 136.71. And this was the big day that I went out. So 32.47, 92.01. 52, 36, 173, 15, 16, 24, 35, 86, 57, and 68, 24. And so that was a total of 5, 56, and 4 cents. And that was mostly shopping. Um, shopping and stuff at the event. Like food and a couple of souvenirs we got. And then we went to some outlets. So that was mostly what that was. Then we had Saturday, the 28th. So in budget for Saturday was 7 74 24 dollars and $25 for the Uber. And that was $57.64. And then out of budget for that day was $19.49.25. So $44.49. So let's go to Sunday. Now, Sunday was a good day because we only spent money that was in budget. So that either includes transportation or I just spent cash. So that was $88, 75, 30, 245, 61, 19, 98, and 258. And that was 431, 47. Now for the 30th. 30th, I know, was also just an all-in day. And you know what? Let's put this here. Let's put this here. All right, so in, we only spent money in this day too. So 2883, 63 dollars, 5336, 2089, and 4385 for the Uber. And that was $209.93. Now, all of this that I'm tracking is only money that I spent. I I already tracked separately the money that we both spent and how much we both spent for the whole trip, like as a total. And then I have what we both spent separately. Um, so everything that I'm tracking is literally what came out of my money or my card. And then the last day, Tuesday, we had both in and out. Because of the hotel <laughs> i mean because of the airport actually so in budget was 14 43 and 48 48 92 for the lift and that was a total of 63 dollars and 35 cents then out of budget was the 60 dollars because guys how did i forget that you have to pay for your first check in bags i'm so used to um Bahamian flying Bahamian airlines where we get our first bag free that I forgot when you go to the States you have to pay $30 for your first bag so I totally didn't even put that in the budget so I had to redo the budget to fit this in as well but for now it was out because I forgot about it so that was $60 for the two bags and then $99.51 $99. plus $60 that was 159.51. So that is how my spending went. And so if we do. So I did tell you guys that I would not be tracking money um, 
when I spent, I wouldn't say like it's a no spend or a spend day unless I told you guys, unless it was out of the budget. So this day was no spend because that was gas and groceries. All of these were spend days because I spent outside of my budget. But Sunday and Monday were no spend days because these were all in the budget. So I already had the money allotted out for that. So let's see how much money I spent this week. I'm, I'm going to add what was in my budget as well. So 135, 135, 75, 40, 49, 22, 97, 93, 2262.53 that I spent at that week and then this week was 14347 209.93 63.35 159.51 for a total of $864.26 so let's close out October and see how much I spent so plus the 2226.53 minus 266.54 plus 1409.84 plus 1545.68. So I just spent a total of $6,348.85 this month. Now that is crazy. Let's see how much money I earned. So I earned 121 plus. That is definitely crazy. And so plus 3520 plus 280 plus 100 plus 125 plus 2833 plus 20 plus 500 so I earned $4,694.33 so if we subtract those 63485 63485 minus the 46943 that is a difference of negative $1654.52 let me make sure yep so i spent over $1654.52 i actually made pretty good amount of money this month i didn't realize how high it was going to be <sighs> so yes that is how i did this month um not too great and i'll even show you guys what i ended off with with my um with my uh sinking funds let's look over here no So, with my cash spending, I ended off with a total of negative $76, and a sinking funds was a negative $55. Oh, actually, no, that's not right, because of this, because of these two. I have to add them in. So, this was actually worse. <laughs> this is actually worse than, uh, um, let me do it right now. Let me do it on camera with you guys so we can see. So... 55 plus 135, 55 plus 136, plus 136 is a negative 191 for my sinking funds. And then for cash spending, we had 76 plus 50 plus 40. So plus 50 plus 40 is negative 166 so i was over my budget this month in cash spending and sinking funds by 357 dollars so not great not 
great at all. Yeah. So that actually sucks, but I am going to work super hard in November to try not to spend any money because I can't have that for two months. Um, <laughs> And I don't have any, oh, I do have a trip planned in November um, to go and see my sister. She is doing her first half marathon. And the tickets dropped. They were 500 at first. And I was literally telling her, I was like, if they're 500, I cannot go. I literally cannot afford that. But they dropped to about 300. So I'm hoping they drop again. <laughs> and that would be for next weekend. So not this weekend, but next weekend. So, yeah haven't started anything for my november budget just as yet i haven't done anything i literally just got back on tuesday and today is thursday so yeah that is how my budget is looking oh maybe i should go over some november goals with you guys maybe so my november goals is to spend less than a thousand dollars in miscellaneous spending i put it that i wanted to say 500 but i already knew that i wanted to take that trip and if it was going to be $500 for the ticket, that was already, that's already a lot. So I put bumped it up to 1000 Then I want to have 20 no spend days. I'm going to keep up with my budget. So I'm going to do it every week because I find that once I can do it every day, every week, or write down when I spend day by day, I don't lose track of anything. And then I do not want to go over my Christmas budget. So I've been putting aside $110 every month into my bank for these Christmas challenges and I do not do not do not want to go over them want to go over that so that is it that is my goals for November and so next week we will start tracking that so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video of me just spending way too much money again i think that's the trend for this whole month just me spending all of my money that i don't i should not be spending because i worked hard all year saving it and then i just let it go in a whole month on random spending so yeah november is gonna be better thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys have any november goals and i will see you guys in my next video bye